this is Piper 2381 and for this video I'm featuring the Air Jordan 3 True Blue Retro 2009 edition. The box has gray and black. There's also this metallic type of color that's uh, almost like a mirror. Jordan on the side. Jordan on the back and the bottom. Now let's look at the label. I got these in a size ten and a half. Um, release date was August eighth, two thousand nine, and retail was one eighty nine ninety nine. One thing I wanted to mention about the box is that it's pretty small, so the sneakers are are stuck in there pretty tight. Um, the sheet paper they come wrapped up in is normal, so uh, I just threw it out. And there is no retro card with the sneaker. Um, let's look inside. Now, this sneaker came out in 2009 and uh, was an international release only, which means they weren't sold in the U.S. Now I'm going to show you the bottom. On the bottom sole you can see the stars. Jordan is a solid bar in red. And this part is a little bit elevated. the air unit On the back, the Jumpman logo is in blue. The elephant print is in a cement color with black highlights. Now, these sneakers are nicknamed the True Blues because of the blue color. It's on the insole on the midsole and on the back. At the bottom you have an elephant print material which is suede. It's also on the side and on the back. Um, the 2009 version has the print a little bit more um, distinctive, more thick. Then you have a smooth leather material. 
that's on the toolbox and on the side. That's followed by a tumbled leather on the toe box and side panel. The tongue has air holes and again this is distinctive of the 2009 version because it has more holes than any other version. And then at the top of the tongue, they use a smooth leather and the Jumpman logo is sewn on in red. The inside uses this um, blue felt-like material and there is a Jumpman logo which is stamped on in white. You also get um, a recycled paper shoehorn. The shoehorn has a Jumpman logo. The tongue is attached to the insole with an elastic. The UPC is stamped on. On the back, there's more of this um, leather with air holes in it. And the heel tab uses a plastic material. Now I'm just going to show you both sneakers together. A feature that I've noticed when it comes to buying Jordans is that when I buy them new, um, factory laced, they're always tied up like this. Um, the two laces together, I guess. So it's something to be aware of too, um, in case you like to buy completely dead stock, never worn sneakers. Well, that's it for now. Hopefully, if you're looking for a pair to buy, this video has helped you. Um, if you want to see more pictures, you can always follow the links to my blog.
and I guess I'll see you guys next time. Bye.